what's up guys and welcome back to my channel and i am sb and this is my beauty channel sb beauty you get it sb beauty yeah so this is a part three to that previous video that affordable video so in this video i do use all affordable products i did actually add some products that i did not have in that previous affordable um video which i use the um juvia's place palette and this one is the zulu the zulu palette and then i use that first jaclyn hill palette um and then also i use some of these neon pigments that i purchased from amazon and i believe that is it um yes those are things that were not mentioned in that previous video that i used in this video so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i i think it turned out pretty good like i've never tried blue green and green before so this is something different and this is it's still i was gonna say it's still natural but nothing about this is natural but it's not crazy colorful like to where you, when you go out and you have so much colorful on you just feel like or people just look at you like okay you know but I, I don't care what people look at me and think. I, I don't. You shouldn't either. Do what makes you happy. Be you. So, without further ado, let's get on head into that video. Um, and learn so you guys can learn how to do this look. So you guys can do it for summer 2020 in the house, apparently. Because <laughs> they're not letting us out of the house. Hopefully, no time soon. Because... I don't care about being in the house. So yeah, guys, like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell for notifications. And when I am not here, you can always follow me on Instagram at SB underscore beauty with three underscores at the end. So yeah, let's get into that video. So I have already done my brows. So now I am just getting my hair out of my way so that I don't get any makeup in my hair. Then before I do go in and clean my brows up, I'm just adding some of that e.l.f. hydrating primer to my face and rubbing that in all over my face. So now I'm just taking some of that Morphe concealer and I'm just carving out my brows, top and bottom. Then I'm going to go in with the Moist Beauty Blender and blend that concealer out. And once I'm done blending out that concealer, I just go in with some of my setting powder all over my lid just so I can set that eye to start on my eyeshadow. Then 
Then I went in with my eyeshadow and I used the matte turquoise from the Zulu palette first and blended that out. And then I went in with that turquoise from the Jaclyn Hill first palette, that matte turquoise as well, just to deepen that up. And my eyeshadows do not have names on them, so they I did use the two turquoise within this these two palettes. And then now I'm just going into my direct crease with a black shadow and it is the black eyeshadow from the first Jaclyn Hill palette. Then I just go back in with that turquoise color and just blend that black and turquoise together so that it is seamless. And then I just take a Q-tip with some micellar water on it and I just clean some of that black off my lid for when I cut my crease so that it's just not too dark for my other colors. Then I like to take my Morphe concealer and I like to start in the middle because that would be the highest point of my cut crease. And then I just follow the shape of my eye until I get that perfect cut crease that I like. Once that concealer is done, I just take my damn beauty sponge and I just go ahead and stamp over that concealer just so it's not too moist for my eyeshadow. Then I do spray my brush with some setting spray and then I go into the shimmery turquoise color in the Zulu palette. Then once I get that to my liking, I go ahead with that lime green shimmery color in that Zulu palette. And I just put that in the corner of that cut crease. And then I did just go back over that lid and I used the turquoise color in the Jaclyn Hill palette. And I just put that over it because the Jaclyn Hill palette colors are more bright and vibrant.
Then I just take that matte turquoise from the Jaclyn Hill palette and I just go back into that corner so that I can make sure that that shimmer shadow and that matte is blended out together. And it does turn to like a deep turquoise color from the black eyeshadow. And then I just play with um, mixing those that black shadow and that turquoise shadow together. And as you can see, it did take a lot of blending and a lot of maneuvering around to get that perfect blended shade that I was looking for. And because I did have a lot of fallout from that black shadow, I just take one of my Neutrogena makeup wipes and I just wipe that fallout off and then I do clean up the edges of my eyeshadow so that it is straight and even. Now I'm just going in with that hydrating putty primer from e.l.f. and I'm just putting that under my eye, on my chin, a little on my nose, and a little bit on my forehead. Now I'm just going in with that L'Oreal foundation in color C7 Nut Brown and I'm just putting that all over my face and then spraying my beauty blender with some setting spray and then I'm going to blend all of this out. Then I'm going to go in with my Morphe concealer and the first concealer I'm using is the concealer that matches my skin tone to the T. And then I'm going to put that under my eyes, on my chin, on my nose, and on the sides of my nose and on my forehead. And then I'm going to go in with my lighter concealer and then just put a little bit over all of that. Then taking that damp F beauty sponge, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to blend out all of that concealer and always make sure your beauty sponge is damp because if it is dry, your makeup will apply choppy and you will see lines throughout your makeup and it will be creasing. After I blend all that out, I just go into my setting powder with that damp beauty sponge and I just blow that excess off. And then I go under my eyes, on my chin, 
on my nose and on my forehead, the same places that I did apply that concealer. And then as you guys can tell by my face, I just realized that my camera was not recording the whole time. And I did do my bronzer um, before I realized that it stopped recording. So I just went over that just to show you guys the places that I did put that bronzer. Once I got done with that bronzer, I just dusted all of that excess baking powder off my face and then I just went over my whole face just to make sure everything was set. Before I set that whole face, I did go ahead and contour my nose. And I did put a little bit of that bronzer under my lip as well, just because it does give me that nice pouty effect that I like. And then going back to the eyes, I just went back in with that turquoise color from the Jaclyn Hill palette and blending that, blended that out under my under eye. Okay, guys, so this is the final look. I actually really love this look. It's, I'm feeling it. So, unfortunately, I don't know where my video stopped at because my camera kept going off. Um, I believe that the last part that you guys seen was me contouring. So, after I contour, I did just make sure my whole face was set, dust that baking powder off. Then, I went back to my eyes. With my eyes, I added a little bit of this neon pigment in the corner of my eye. And I just purchased this from Amazon. I'm not too crazy about it, but that's what I had. And then I just popped a little bit of the Wet n Wild I um I'm sorry Wet n Wild highlighter in the corner of my eye and above my brow bone. I popped on some lashes. I put some N Y X eyeliner um on my waterline, and then I just took those same two colors that um teal and blue, and I just put that under my eye, um under my eye and blended it in. Um and then put some mascara on my lower lashes. Then I went back to the face. And I added a little blushy blush and then I added some highlighter as you can see. Um, I added it here and on my nose here, my cupid's bow and my chin and then I lined my lips and put on some lipstick. So yeah, it seems like I missed a lot of steps in this video. However, if you go back to that previous video, the ending is pretty much the same. I probably just used, uh, well I did just use different colors. Um, but mainly my routine was still the same for after I contour. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and like, subscribe, and comment down below and hit that bell for notifications. And you can follow me on Instagram at SB underscore beauty with three underscores at the end. Yes, three underscores at the end. Let me know some videos you guys want to see. DM me some inspiration, DM me some ideas anything anything so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and thank you for watching